Obi-Wan Kenobi Mythos Statue by Sideshow. This is Six Comics. Let's just jump right into it. What is going to you? Welcome back to another video. This is Six Scale Economist. In this video, we're doing another hot or cold. This time, not about a hot toy, but actually about statue. This is the general Obi-Wan Kenobi Mythos statue. As always, first, we're going to talk about the statue from a collection perspective, and then we're going to talk about it from an investment perspective. Look, from a collector's perspective, I really, really like the Mythos statues and the Mythos line. I was really excited when I, you know, I first saw this one, but it's 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 coming off you know it's aging kind of poorly for me you know from a collector's perspective there's aspects i really like about it but there's also aspects i really don't um look i absolutely love the clone wars and i love obi-wan um i think it was a great move by them to give us this character you know no more sith people no more darth mauls and thing like let's get some jedi in there uh great move to give us a clone war statue like awesome to see a clone wars in the mythos line um, great to see Obi-Wan in that look, but let's start off with the pros of this one. Pro. Um, I think that, I think that, I think the pose is actually really great. It's like a heroic pose. I love the mixed media cape. Um, the shadowing that they did on this figure is great. I love how this, um, you know, you can see like it's weathered and this part is darker and this part's lighter. Kind of seeing like the shadowing and the re the weathered look. Um, uh, I think this armor looks really cool, and this look this look is really cool from Obi Wan. It's 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 neat that they gave us the the Phase One helmet. I don't know if I'd ever actually display the statue with that helmet, um, but it's definitely a great accessory to have. Um, and overall, the the the, the choice to, um, to to have this character in the Mythos line was a great choice. What are the cons for this figure? First off, the physics of the hair and and the and the cape blowing in opposite directions is it's very it bothers me it bothers me maybe more than it should but it certainly bothers me look at the physics of this if the wind was actually blowing why would his hair be blowing you know to the to the right and but his cape and his tunic blowing to the left that's just like poor attention to detail i can't imagine they actually meant to do that um if they did i don't know how that was like you know like how, how nobody caught that, but it just doesn't make sense. And as soon as I noticed it, I just haven't been able to look away from it. And the second thing, the face portrait is cool, but it's like, it's too perfect. He, he has like a Justin Bieber type of like hairdo and it just makes him look, look like a little odd. Um, I'd rather him see like more rugged, maybe his hair like pushed back or something, but his hair just looking like that, it just kind of looks like, it just looks like too perfect to me. The weathering is great. The weathering is really great, but it's 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 the hair. And then the other big problem for me, I really, really, really don't like this display base. How can you give us such a good display base with, with Ventress and the Emperor and, and Darth Maul? Really, Darth Maul and the Emperor. Sorry, Darth Maul and Ventress. But then give us this display base. How is him standing on top of a super battle droid, you know, that important that you'd have to, you know, give us that for the base? And the the fire, like don't let these don't let these um, pictures fool you. That this has a lot of editing and you know, a lot of lighting done. This fire, I just don't think it looks that good. Um, it looks kind of cheap and it looks kind of fake. Um, I think they totally could have gone for a different route for for um, the display base. And in general, I just don't really like it. Um, so from a collection perspective, I'm just like kind of bummed about this statue. At first I was pretty excited, but the more I just looked at it and looked into it, um, it just doesn't excite me that much. I was really amped up on the Mythos line. For those of you guys that don't know, I did pre-order um, the Ventress Maul and Emperor, and I was excited to add this one into uh, you know this growing collection that I was potentially looking at for Mythos statues, but um, I just don't know if I can get over the fence on this one. And now jumping into it from an investment perspective, um, like look, it's, it's the Mythos line. I've talked about this in my other Mythos videos. The Mythos line in general does very well. Like like I said in my Saw's Ventures video when I compared it to the old, old Obi-Wan Mythos statue, like as you can see, like this is just a, I think I, you know, in ways I think that this statue, like some people would argue maybe they even like more than this uh, Obi-Wan Mythos statue. I know, although I know there's a huge fan base for the statue. Um, the fact that this one can sell, you know, this retail for what, $300 and now sells for $2,500 plus in the secondary market shows the power of the Mythos line and what it can do in the secondary market. But with that being said, you also have to think about it like this. $585 retail 
is about 2.3 2.5 times the price of a hot toy so basically what you pay for this you, you could buy you know two you know basically you call it two two and a half hot toys um even if this figure is going to do like you know very well from a secondary market perspective on a return on initial investment basis the return that you could get from say you know two captain rexes at 255 dollars and if that one performs how like many people expect to, it to perform and you know go 2x retail um you're looking at a 500 dollar investment in, in captain rex on you know call it 500 dollars maybe 550 dollars you know turning into one thousand dollars um whereas this general kenobi you would have to see this one go up you know almost a hundred percent um in the secondary market for you to realize that same gain so like while there is merit to the argument that like mythos statues do very well and they're a very safe investment to have in your collection um you could also make the same argument that like you might be better off just investing in two hot toys that you think are going to do very well rather than just banking on this obi-wan mythos statue doing you know exceptional from an investment perspective so yes i i i I, re I recognize the argument of how well mythos statues can do i'm just saying with this one um because i don't absolutely love it from a collection perspective i'm not sure if i'm going to pick it up um and because of the retail price like i don't know if, i don't know if the seesaw of investment perspective versus collection perspective is weighing enough for me to just go ahead and pick this up i don't know if i'm bullish enough on it i think i'd rather just you know get more hot toys um that i really like from a collection perspective and investment perspective rather than go for this figure that while i am quite bullish on it um I just don't know if it's something that I really need in my collection because I just think the execution was a little bit poor. Uh, but these are just my opinions. Honestly, sometimes my opinions change every day from a collection perspective, so um, who knows? There's still a lot of time for the statue to come out. I might end up picking up. I'm not sure. You know what? Try and convince me in the comment section down below. If you are picking up this statue, let me know why you guys are picking it up. If you are passing on this statue, let me know why you are passing on this statue. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on this one. As always, this is Six Scale Economist. Buy the dip, sell the rip. This is the way we will see you in the next video.